What we're going to talk about today is uh, pretty exciting for me. You know, I started in the industry in 79 and uh, started in the denture space and uh, looking at where we are today with all this digital integration, it uh, gets me really excited about dentures again. And hopefully what I want to leave you with today is to some excitement as well, as far as the clinical aspect of what you do. I'm going to give you some insight as to what's going on in the lab side, but what we want to leave you with is some insights of the the ways that you can get in the operatory and uh, make things a little better, a little easier, maybe a little more fun doing dentures again and uh, actually get better results. So we'll get right to it. Um, talking about specific uh, digital denture workflows. Now, one of the questions I get as I go around the country uh, talking about this is, you know, how do I integrate digital dentures into my practice or how do I integrate digital dentures into my lab workflow? Well, here's what I want you to look at. I want you to look at these uh, dentures on the screen. And, you know, if I were to ask you which one of those were digitally fabricated, right? You, it'd be hard pressed to answer that question, right? Because the good news is today we are able to provide dentures uh, for you that are as good or even better than the way we used to make dentures or the way we still make them in a traditional fashion. But, you know, that's a big win for anything new in our world is that we want it to be at least as good or better than what we've been doing. And fortunately today, we have both the processes, the equipment, plus the materials that give us that uh, in, in a big, big way. Now, I know some of you may have tried digital dentures in the past and you might've been disappointed in aesthetics and strength. And we're gonna talk about that, but just know that what you tried then is not what's available now. So we're going to pick out and, and talk about uh, how we've advanced. But you know, as we talk to dentists and say, you know, tell me why you don't do more dentures or there's a funny survey that goes around almost every year about, you know, what's your favorite part of your, your denture treatment? And the big answer, the number one answer is always nothing. Nobody really likes them. And what the struggle is, is right. The, the number of appointments, it's very difficult to get a denture done in under seven or eight appointments. Um, five is always the goal, but that's a traditional workflow. And the reason it's so hard is because the bites are so hard. The impressions are challenging. Uh, the try-ins are challenging, you know, and then the patient comes back repeatedly for adjustments after we deliver. And once we finally get to a happy point, you know, they call a couple months later and say they lost it or broke it. And it's just a serious anxiety level pops up and says, ah, oh, we've got to start all over. So I've had Dennis actually tell me, you know, I'm not doing this anymore, right? I'm going to send them to my prosthodontist friend and let him handle all this. But again, what I hope to leave you with today is maybe some opportunities that you can integrate that might take that pain point away from you by giving us better solutions, using digital technology to do some of those things listed. So when we talk about digital dentures as a whole, you know, what are the key benefits? Well, number one, if, if, if BJ and his team at, at Roe fabricate you a digital denture, they have that denture in their computer. There's an archived digital record. So there's a permanent record there. So lost dentures, broken dentures, starting over is not the same anymore, right? They can easily pull that file up. So getting a duplicate or a replacement can be as easy as picking up the phone and calling Roe and say, hey, I need another denture printed for or, or milled for patient X. Uh, the big win on the number of appointments would be the fit, right? When we digitally create something, we tell a computer to fit part A to part B, it's a better fit, right? It, it, that's just where technology is today, guys. CAD CAM technology has advanced so far that we can make things fit so much better than the way we've always done it. As good as we've gotten with traditional denture fabrication workflows in the laboratory, we can only make them fit so good, right? It's just some errors in the processing and things like that, that give us maybe if we're lucky, 150, 130 micron fit with traditional digital bases. But with digital CAD CAM fit, we can get sub 100 pretty darn easy, which means the dentures stay in better, which means they come back for fewer adjustments. So those are your two big wins, right? Digital record on file and having this wonderful, wonderful fit. Now we're going to start adding advantages on primarily through the use of what uh, Roe and, and labs are doing with these new materials and printers. So what about in the clinic world, right? So here's the conventional process, right? This is what you all learned in dental school that when we're going to make a denture, we're going to have about five appointments. That is the ideal. That's the textbook, right? 
problem is, in most cases, visit four usually becomes visit 4A and 4B and sometimes 4C until we get the patient satisfied with where the teeth are positioned and what they look like. You know, and that's a lot of the, uh, the cause of that is that uh, the visit three, the bite rim, that big blocky pink piece of wax is a challenge. I, I've assisted in, in hundreds of operatory cases, and I, I know what a challenge it is for both the dentist and the patient to deal with this bite rim. So what we're going to try to do is look at those two uh, appointments and think about, okay, how can we maybe compress this utilizing digital technology? Another question I get quite often in, in, in dent from dentists is that, you know, I always start out when I'm teaching this to a dentist and they start hearing me say things like, well, the digital part of digital dentures is primarily in the lab. And so the question becomes from a dentist, so what's digital for me? Well, there's a couple of sides of this coin. The good news is that if you like the way that you're taking impressions and bites for your denture cases, you do not have to change a thing. That's the good news. If you want to do a digital denture, you can take the same records you've always taken. You can send those records to the lab and the lab can digitize those records for you in their world. But you don't have to buy anything. You don't have to change anything if, if that so moves you. But just to give you an update, in the clinical space, we do have technology today that is accurate enough to scan an edentulous arch. It's not a simple scan. It takes some practice and a lot of learning, but it is capable with the latest technology and software. It's like the newest Prime Scanner, Trios 4, and newest Itero, all have the capacity to give you an accurate scan. We know that's the case because there's been a number of studies done in the last several years to show that, yes, this can be done accurately, but I will say this again and again, it's not an easy scan to obtain. I've watched many dentists try to do this with a lot of challenges. It is so many variables here. It depends on the wand and the software, of course, but also the ability of moving the scan in a certain way, but also patients, right? It depends on the tissue, patient compliance, uh, all the stability, the things that go on at chair side that you deal with every day. Now, if you want to read more about this, just go Google Dr. LaRusso, Italian dentist who developed most of the intraoral edential scanning strategies. And he's developed this workflow guide and it doesn't really matter which scanning device you're using. Following his guidelines is the, to me, the best path of trying to learn this. But be patient, guys. It's, it's going to take you some time to learn to do this. I'm going to offer you an alternative today that is much, much easier, much simpler. So what about the lab? Absolutely. I mentioned it earlier. When we do things digitally, right, we get a better accurate fit. If we add that in using an intraoral scanner, we get even better fits of our dentures. So we definitely want to go this path. But even if you want to take traditional records, realize that you're going to get a better fitting denture because of the digitization that the lab does of those records and the ensuing uh, production of the denture. 